When we have data sets that we want to compare, box plots give us a nice visual way to summarize and display the data. Let's look at example. Here we have three data sets and the box plots have been prepared. And these are, the, each one of these data sets represents a Girl Scout troop and these are their cookie sales from, by the members of the troop. So let's see if we can collect some data. If we don't have the raw data, perhaps we can just look at the diagram and pull off from that some information. All right, so for troop one, we can see that our minimum value would be approximately, and these are, a lot of these values are going to be approximate because we're trying to read right from the graph and not um, all the increments are shown. So it's about between 0 and 20, so we'd say it's 10. And the maximum number boxes of cookies sold by that troop was 100. We can also see the Q1 for that troop. Q1 starts at the beginning of the box, that's at 20. The median, that's where we have the bar in the middle and visually we see a nice change in color here. So that's at 40. And I'm going to have to scroll up a little bit. And Q3 for troop 1, that's a, would have been with the end of the box here. So it looks like it's about between 60 and 80 or 70. Okay, let's look at troop two. The minimum boxes, number of boxes of cookies sold for troop two. That's a little harder to, to pull off of this graph, but let's say that's about uh, 15. And the maximum for troop two all the way up there at probably about 110. Q1, the beginning of the red box, looks like that might be about, I don't know, 22. The median, the middle of the box, or the where the box changes colors, it's not the, not the middle, clearly. Um, that looks like about, um, let's see, 45 maybe? And our Q3, let's see, I think I s thought that was about 74. Okay, and now let's analyze troop 3. Our minimum, about 19. Again, I'm, you might come up with a slightly different value than I would on this, but we're doing the best we can here. A maximum, looks like that'd be about 90. Q1, 30. Our median, mm, about 51. And our Q3, maybe about 57. Okay, so we can see though that these values, this five number summary, is very easy to compare visually. We can quickly say which one had the lowest minimum, the highest maximum, the highest mean, I'm sorry, median, the highest median. Um, the highest median would be which set? Even without looking at the, what we wrote down there. We could see that's in the troop three, right? Because uh, where the red bar ends, um, goes, it goes further past the other two, right? So. Um, we could see the highest Q3 value, troop 2, right? Um, so that's a nice visual. Um, we also can see something about variation, you know, how much variation is in the set. And one thing that really gives us some information is the IQR. The IQR, remember, is Q3 minus Q1. Let's write that down over here. So the IQR is that difference between our third quartile and our first quartile. And visually, that's represented by the box, the entire box, the green plus the red. Okay, so it looks like it's a bit of a tie between troops one and two. 
but the least amount of variation is obviously in troop 3, looking at the IQR. But we could calculate those. Let's get the IQR for troop 1. I'm not going to write this all out due to space conditions, but we've got our equation over here. We know we're going to take 70 minus 20 and get 50. Okay. The IQR for troop 2. Now we're going to take 74 minus 22 and get 52. So as we said, these two are pretty close. It was kind of visually not that easy to tell which one was bigger. Or it's a little close. All right. And then our last one, the IQR, we would take Q3 for troop 3, 57, minus 30, and get 27. Not surprisingly, this one is, has the lowest IQR, but we could, we could visually see that also. So this is an example of using box plots to compare data sets.